Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer. It's Monday. Paul Lavender. I'm the senior pastor at Mount Pleasant Baptist Church in Northampton. Welcome to the beginning of another week. Uh, slightly greyer outside today, slightly cooler. Uh, but I pray that you will know today the warmth of the love of the Lord Jesus of friends and family and significant people in your lives who can remind you today that you are valued and that you are special and that God loves you deeply. As we gather this week, we begin two new series of readings on, sorry, in our morning prayer, we will be reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, the first three chapters over the, of the three chapters, sorry, of the Sermon on the Mount from chapter five through seven over the next three weeks. And in the evening, we'll begin tonight a journey through the book of Job and uh, listening to that ancient wisdom for our lives today. But as we gather this morning, let me invite you to bow your head with me as we pray together and remember the presence of the risen Lord with us now. Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord and was saved from every trouble. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires life and covets many days to enjoy good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord rescues them from them all. He keeps all their bones, not one of them will be broken. Evil brings death to the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. Thanks be to God for his word. Let us pray. Worthy of praise from every mouth, of confession from every tongue, of worship from every creature is your glorious name, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one God forever. You created the world in your grace and by your compassion you redeemed it. Heaven and earth are full of your praises. Glory be to you, O God Most High. Angels and archangels and all the hosts of heaven worship you. We are not worthy to praise you, but for your mercy's sake, accept the praises of all your servants in this house and throughout the world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Merciful God, you made us in your image with a mind to know you, a heart to love you, 
and the will to serve you. But our knowledge is imperfect, our love inconstant, our obedience incomplete. Day by day we fail to grow into your likeness, yet you are slow to be angry with your children. For the sake of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Saviour, do not hold our sins against us, but in your tender love forgive. May Almighty God forgive us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Give us time for amendment of life and bring us the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So our Bible readings now begin in Matthew chapter 5 and this morning we pray we read the first 12 verses. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Thanks be to God for his word. Amen. I don't know if you took examinations at school that involved, at least in some part, in the past, I know it's much greater now, but involved multiple choice. You remember that? Those uh, three possible answers. They were, if you go to a pub quiz these days, you often get that sort of approach. And for any given problem or question there are three possible solutions at least sometimes more like many of the cardinal virtues that are laid down for us throughout the bible the sermon on the mount the beatitudes give us not a choice that we should perhaps pursue one this week and then another the following week Tell us if, well, this week I'll be poor in spirit, but the following week I'll be humble. These are the attitudes that Jesus invites us to adopt as a consequence of a spirit-filled life. What does it mean to be blessed by God? Well, to be blessed of God is to be aware of and to live in the glory of his presence. So when we pray and when we ask God that we might be blessed, we're asking not that we might feel good about ourselves, or even that uh, somehow we would be favoured more than other people. 
it is simply this that we should be aware today of the presence of god which therefore enables us to live his character his virtues and to live in the glory of his presence with those attitudes that in fact characterized jesus because jesus was poor in spirit he mourned he was meek he hungered and thirsted for the things of god he was pure in heart he was merciful he was persecuted for righteousness sake he was uh, reviled and persecuted all of these things were the behaviors the attitudes of jesus may god give us the grace to help us to be like jesus let us pray and today in our prayers we begin by praying for the church in china for christians there and especially for those who this day may know persecution frustration intimidation or torture because of their faith may the lord keep them strong and faithful in all their ways lord in your mercy hear our prayer father we thank you for bringing us to the beginning of another day help us through your holy spirit so that we may not fall into sin but may do everything that pleases you through jesus christ our lord lord in your mercy hear our prayer And Lord, as we look back on our journey in recent days, we are grateful for how your love and goodness have been with us through many failings and dangers, joys and adventures. Thank you for your love and the awareness of your presence. And thank you that you have enabled us to walk by faith. Forgive us our slowness, our failures, the smallness of our love and the poor use of the blessings you pour into our lives. Accept our heart's thanks for a growing knowledge of you and an increasing assurance of your purposes of love. Give us, we pray, a deepening understanding of those things that are truly important, so that whilst we may remember past mercies, we may trust you for the future that is ahead. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We share together in saying the Lord's Prayer in whatever language or form is common to us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We thank you, Lord, that you walk beside us. Thank you for your mighty hand to uphold us, your heart of love to guide us, your outstretched arms to meet us at our journey's end. And so may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon us and remain with us and with those whom we love, with God's people everywhere this day and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. May God bless you, keep you safe today. And I look forward to joining with you again this evening at 9pm. God bless you. Good night. Good morning.